Well, here's log 55, and this is a black walnut. If I measure inside the bark, it's about a 26 inch diameter, 44 inches long, which is a short log. And I've got it earmarked for quarter sawing, absolutely as much quarter sawing as possible. It should be a nice straight grain, it's a straight log. I'm looking to use it for classical guitars and acoustic guitars. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quarter saw this. So I want to get this chunk out of the center. I'm going to take a four inch cut out of the center. I'm going to have two halves here remaining aside from that slab cut out. And then from those, they'll be spun 90. And then I'll be taking a three inch slab right out of those two halves that remain. Basically, that'll leave me with this quarter sawn, and then that'll also leave me with some good sized bolts coming out of these side here. Just imagine sort of a firewood chunk that runs the length of the log. Now cutting quarter sawn for instruments, you've got a few things to take into account, and these are really important. One, of course, for quarter sawn, you need the cut to be perpendicular to the wood grain, which is running, wood grain running this way, and the cut will be this way. So that gives us our quarter sawn. But also, for instruments especially, you want to watch dropout. And what that means is that if you're not perfectly level with this center, then as you go through the length of the wood, you'll drop through growth rings. Ideally, we want to avoid that and at the very least minimize it. So we'll shim the log and jack it so that this center point is exactly at the same height as a center point at the other end of the log. And that gives us our best chance to avoid dropout. So I'm finally done the prep and I'm ready to start sawing. Some of the behind the scenes things I had to do to get ready is take the blade off and do a pass. Because you can see I'm working at the absolute maximum dimensions of my equipment. I've got no clearance at all. And so you want to make sure that everything's going to go through smoothly and there'll be no troubles. Now with everything double and triple checked, the moment of truth, cutting. This is going to yield some nice quarter sawn. You can see it's just beautiful straight. Oh boy, that's nice. This one is coming off as a quarter saw four inch slab right from the center of that log. This center part will be cut out because that's the pith, that's unstable, but you can see on this side and on this side, we've got some really nice straight grain guitar backs with no knots in them. Very pleased with that. That's our quarter sawn out of that chunk. So if you can imagine that the grain runs like this, I'll show you why we cut it this way. So here, of course our grain is running straight, so we cut perpendicular. So they get, that gives us our quarter sawn there. And then for these bolts on the end here, if you imagine that your bandsaw blade is going to try to cut 
perpendicular to those rings. So the log will be rotated to give us this, this continual perpendicular with the bandsaw blade as we cut it. So these are the sections that were cut out of the center of the top portion of the log, the bottom portion, we turn 90 degrees. So once again, we've got some, some nice straight grain and just no knots, which I'm very happy about. Some beautiful color variations in here too. You can see there's even a bit of a purple hue. So I hope that as the wood dries, it will keep that hue because it's, it's just gorgeous. These are the pieces that I left as bolts. Very happy, got a nice, nice straight grain and uh, no knots, so just beautiful. Thank you for watching as I milled log 55 into what should be some very nice acoustic and classical guitars. It was a very high quality log. I had high hopes and it did not disappoint. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. For instruments especially you want to watch dropout and what that means is that so if your log is not perfectly then <laughs> then as you go through as you go through then those grains will will drop well how do I explain this <laughs> then <laughs>